Hey, it's RF Tech Guy here, and today I'm responding to one of the comments. Uh, it's actually a good idea for a video, so thank you. Uh, somebody was asking me, how are your solar panels doing after being up there for a year? Well, they didn't ask so nicely. They just said, I bet uh, that my solar panels aren't working anymore and my wires are all messed up. So I decided to come up here on the roof and check, and it looks so far like my solar panels are doing way better than my roof is. Uh, as you can see, there's a thick layer of dust because I haven't been up here for a year and four months since they've been put up. So they were, they've been up here for a year and four months. And there's so far that I could see there's no cracking on any of the plastic around the solar panels. And they're still in pretty good shape. And uh, yeah, the, the charging lights are still on, which you'll see in a minute. The, the blue charging lights are still on. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with these Harbor Freight solar panels. I didn't expect them to actually last this long. And if you look at the wires here, you'll see that there is, uh, there's no cracking, which is actually kind of surprising because I did, you know, I didn't expect the, the wires to really last up here. So yeah, see the, the blue lights are still on. All of them are still functioning properly. They're still getting a decent charge. They're still charging my batteries very well, even with this thick layer of dirt. And as you can see on the bottom of the solar panel here, there's there's like a layer of mud. Yeah, originally I set up these solar panels like really quickly and with whatever I could find, uh, I set them up as cheaply as possible. So that's why this is not a professional setup. This is not the way anybody should be setting up their solar panels. But this is the way I did it because we were pretty desperate. It gets really hot during the summer. Yeah, pretty much the month of July and August is uh, the heat is crazy out here. Which is also one of the reasons why, it, why these uh, six solar panels don't really have much of a problem in charging my batteries. Because we're we're getting hit with a lot of sun here, so I took this little video of of how hot it actually gets at our house during the summer, to show you why I put up these solar panels. Okay, this might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but uh, it does get pretty hot. So I bought these batteries about a year and two months ago for forty dollars a piece, plus the sixty dollar or plus the twenty dollar core charge, so sixty dollars a piece. And uh, yeah, they're still working properly; everything's still functioning. So the system is about a year and four months old, and uh, these batteries are a year and two months. Well, the, the solar panels have been up there for about a year and four months. Everything is still functioning. The wires are still good. Um, yeah, the, this, uh, these batteries and these wires right here are newer than the rest of the system, but uh, uh, not by much. They're, everything is over one year old. But yeah, overall, my whole system is still working pretty well, and I don't use it all the time like I wanted to, but... Uh, it's working pretty well and I'm able to run lights and uh, my computer and power tools off of it on occasion. I don't keep this, uh, this big inverter on all the time because yeah, it does this, this huge inverter uses a lot of power and would drain my batteries possibly if I left it on all night. But as you can see here, the batteries still maintain a full charge, even with the dust on the solar panels, they're still working. Everything is still functioning. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Still, light still works here. So there they are, I cleaned them up a little bit. Looks like some paint got on them. But even though they were all really dusty, I covered in a pretty thick layer of dirt, they were still working properly. And I cleaned up the wires so you can see them a little bit better here. So let me see if I can focus on that. Yeah, they're still smooth, no cracking. I'm trying to get the best image I can here for you guys. I know I'm still going to get a lot of negative feedback, but yeah, this is uh, 
This is after being up here for a year. The plastic's still holding up pretty strong. So thank you for watching RF Tech Guy. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell. And as always, I will be leaving links down below on where you can get solar stuff and uh, also things to help you out with your YouTube channel. We've got this uh, new thing called TubeBuddy that I've been using to get some tags and uh, help me out with uh, you know descriptions and all that stuff. So yeah, check out TubeBuddy too. Um, I'll be leaving the link down below. And if you guys would like to donate to, to help me upgrade my system or, you know, to help me out with this channel, I'll leave a link down below on where you can donate. So thank you for watching and subscribe, 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 subscribe. Okay. Okay, bye.